here at my favorite electrical supplier, Vaughn Electric. We're going to be meeting with one of the owners, Mike. He's definitely going to school you guys on all things electrical. What I love about this place is they treat you like family. It has that mom and pop shop vibe and their showroom is unlike any other. Usually when you go to an electrical suppliers, it's so bland. You got some boring guy behind the counter. Here it's going to be totally different. Come on in. What's happening, Mike? Right. Good to see you, buddy. How are you doing? Excellent. Thanks for coming today. So we're here with Mike from Vaughn Electric. Yeah, Vaughn Electric Co. Von Alec yeah. Co, sorry. We've got multiple brands now, it's not just electrical anymore, it's lots of stuff now. Yes. Right? From lighting, appliances, hardwood floors, the whole works now. Okay. I was just explaining to the audience that yeah. this is by far my favorite electrical supplier. Yeah, we try to be a hybrid, right? Between a lighting showroom and a distributor, right? Okay. So we kind of mix those two. So something unique in the market. Do you mind taking us on a tour? Let's do it. The latest from the UK, Buster, Buster and Punch. So we're talking dimmers, switches, USB as well, right? More of a different feel. Very cool. All right. So maybe we'll upgrade your house now to the Buster and Punch stuff. Maybe a couple spots. <laughs> I don't know. Like, would you do a whole house? A hundred percent. hundred percent. We have the door handles to tie in. Okay. Okay, Mike, this feels picture very like expensive. Picture like David Beckham. Okay. Right, in your house now. All right. Price point, what are we looking at? Yeah, roughly? Around the same thing as the door, right? So you're looking anywhere from 60 to 80 bucks. Per right, switch. Per switch and dimmer with the face plate and everything, right? Screws, okay. Right. I want to show you the, the difference in color again that we spoke about that you did at your house. Yes. Right? So the difference between 80 CRI. Yes. And 95 CRI. Okay. Okay. So this is like picture like the winter blues. Yeah. Picture being under like an Aruban sunset. Okay. Okay. Like just pure color, healthy, very vibrant, right? So that's the key differ. And a lot of people pull the apple because they think it's like a special apple. Yeah. Right? It's the same apple, right? So that's the apple under the 95 CRI. And then when you put it back under the 80 CRI, okay. it's just a sad. It's like depressed. night and day. Exactly, right? Total difference. So, okay. Very big. So, we're going to go more in depth on yes. that whole topic because that's talk about that more. a topic within a lot of itself. On that. Okay. Okay. Let's go. These, I'm definitely going to be getting some of these yeah. from my place. This is the new Evo collection from Inlight. Okay. Right? Very modern. Right. Is and all of this stuff just line voltage 120? It's all low, low voltage. Low voltage? Remember, in the States, line voltage is Canada, it's all low voltage for landscape, right? Okay. So it all ties into your low voltage lighting, right? So if you want to do the in ground lights, or if you want to go more linear now, yep. right? More of that modern look. A lot of guys are doing the more of that modern look, just like your house, right? Yep. More linear, that'll okay. all tie in, right? Same Beautiful. system, all low voltage. So you just run your 120 to a junction box and yep. then it's a transformer? It down. Yeah. Right? And then run your landscape wire throughout. Okay. Right? It's all plug and play, which okay. I'll show you in the, the landscape room. Beautiful. Okay, so just a little from Lutron. Yeah. Right? Lutron's one of our main lines. All the different colors you can get. Okay. Right, so if you're doing a washroom or whatever theme you got going on, kids room, whatever it is, yep. you can literally customize whatever you want. Very cool. Okay. And then roughly, just quickly, price yep. point, what are we looking at? Um, much more cost effective, right? Probably like 12 bucks okay. for, uh, for a plate and you know another 10 for a receptacle. Okay. Right. So another line we have from, from Spain, body dryers. Right? In okay. showers, cabanas, near a pool, yeah. uh, boathouse, right? You come out, dry up. So this is rated for outdoor use yeah, yeah. as well? Yeah, indoor, outdoor, right? Okay. Showers, right? Obviously, you got to put a GFI if you, if you put it in a shower. Yeah. But again, instead of using towels that are, you know, bad for the environment because of the dryer and stuff, yeah. you literally just dry your body. Very cool. Right? Okay. Right? So basically, you walk up to it, it has a sensor, right? Turns on automatic. Yeah. And two to three minute dry time, basically, it blows out hot air, right? So it's basically like a glorified body dryer or okay. a hair dryer, right? And then in terms of voltage and so, amperage. So it's 12.5 amps. Yeah. Right. You need a GFI if you're going to put it in a shower. Okay. So it's basically a dedicated line. Dedicated line. Yep. All right. And like you were mentioning, we, we don't think about it, but you consume so much energy drying that oh, towel. Oh, just did the towels in the dryer for an hour. Right? Exactly. Multiple, dry, uh, multiple towels, right? Yeah. So this is two to three minutes. Okay. You're done. All right. Very Wife cool. loves you. No laundry. People always want to know price point. What are we looking price at? Price point, this is about 1900 bucks. Okay. All right. And does it come in different and, and, finishes? And your wife will love you because she doesn't have to do more laundry. Hey, right? that's a good point. You can get in black and white. Black and white, okay. okay. Then the flip side, we got a recessed heater, right? So okay. if you go to Earl's in the past, they had those surface mount heaters. Yes. Now the new section of Earl's, they got the recessed heaters, right? Everybody wants everything clean. So these get recessed into the ceiling. Ooh, that's right? very cool. Instead of seeing those So this can be heaters. used like in uh, enclosed porch area exactly, or something like, like that? Exactly, like a loggia, you know? Outdoor spaces? Recessed. Yep. Okay. So this is the latest humic centric lighting. Okay. okay, so it means basically, especially in Canada, we're inside for so much duration, right? So basically, it's taking the outside and bringing it in. 
meaning the color changes like the sun. Okay. So picture a daycare or an office. You come in the morning, it's more warm, just like the sun, right? 27, 3000 K. Throughout the day though, especially 12, 1, 2 o'clock, you want peak, you want productivity, doing a test, an exam. So that it'll go up to 6,500 K, just like the sun mimics Very the outside, cool. right? And then before you go home, you know, picture you're picking up your kid yep. or, or um, you know, after a long day, you, you're coming home before the drive, right? It relaxes your body, right? So it'll go back down to 3,000 K or 2,700 K. How does right. that work? Is there a sensor that's- Basically, it's, it's on a system. Okay. Right, so the, that fresco system over here, yeah, basically it has um, a time clock, like an astronomical time clock. Okay, right, that's just been basically mimicking the outside. Very cool. Okay, then we go, especially in Canada, electric floor. It should be standard. I don't know why it's not, but floor warming is so crucial. Kids are actually less prone to getting colds when the floor is warmer. So pretty much, basically, it's uh, either getting a cable yep. or a mat, and. It exactly does what I just said. It just heats the floor. And this is right. going to be used under tiled surfaces mainly? You use tiles, wood, showers, any application. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And then we have Panasonic fans. Yes, Panasonic fans, pretty much the leader, yeah. in, especially in Canada, on ventilation fans. They're super quiet, 0.3 zones. Mm -hmm. They're all DC motors, so they pretty much run forever. And then they're selectable, so you can do 50, 80, 110 CFM, right? So depending on the washroom size. Yes. Panasonic is all that I work with. Yeah, they're, they're the best, right? You can, you can, there's multiple versions, right? You can get it with the heater, you can get it with the sensor, or just a standard uh, standard fan. Yeah, and this is such an important area where I find so many people cheap out on. You go into a beautiful new build, yeah. and you look up and you see that Home Depot yeah, fan. Yeah, that, that. Air King. Yeah. I hate, yeah. like, not, not it, to bash a particular yeah. brand, but. It's just a basic builder fan, yeah. Exactly. Like fans are crucial because they prevent moist, uh, moisture in the air, especially yes. showers, mildew, and all that stuff. Okay. Come with me, I'll show you our automation, electric fireplaces, and of course, the Ovid stuff. Okay. All right. So this is our automation system. All right, so Elon. The nice thing with Elon, um, it's similar to Control 4, but the thing with Elon, the, the reason we chose Elon, because it works with more systems, okay. such as Lutron. Right, so if you buy a Lutron lighting system or a shading system, you could tie it into Elon. Okay. Right? So you're not just you know stuck with either Control Four or a certain system. It's open to multiple third parties. All right. right? Which is nice, right? Because people like choices. Um, same thing, electric fireplaces. Yep. Electric fireplaces have become big. It used to be all gas fireplaces, but now because the electric fireplaces look so real, yes. a lot of people are doing them now. Right? They come, they come such a long way with the 3D. Right, the trim and then the trimless. And these can provide both aesthetics heat? and heat, right? Exactly, everybody always asks, do they give heat? Yes, they give okay. heat, about 2,000 BTUs. Not as much as a uh, gas fireplace, yep. but still, you're still getting heat. Yep. Right, so you're getting the best of both worlds. Okay, and then right. you, off, you guys offer uh, hood Yeah, we got well. hood fans, multiple uh, recess and surface mount strips. Yep. Um, our landscape is obviously a main, a main line for us. Right, so this is Inlight, they're from Holland. Multiple bullard options, right? You got the recess. That's kind of their like their claim to fame is the recess light. So this is kind of what they started with. Okay. Right? So it's recess on the floor. You can drive on them, walk on them, uh, different colors, different options. And they grew into wall lights, um, the evil stuff I showed you, the modern stuff, right? So the lines really grown over the years. Okay. Right. The pucks is the is their new lights as well. Yep. Right. They're kind of like marker lights, coping lights. Yep. Right. We got the short version and the long version, right? And then it's very easy. Let me just put these down for a minute before I show you these. Very easy to install, by the way. So you basically, like we spoke about, you plug the transformer into uh, an outlet outside. Okay. Put the transformer, run your low voltage wire throughout your backyard, wherever, it doesn't matter. And then the lights simply just click in. Okay. Right? So you literally just unscrew this. It's just like a sandwich, right? Picture you have a veal in the middle, <laughs> and then you put the two buttons, right? And then literally screw it in. Just plug and play. And that's it. And if the light ever does go, just unplug it, right? It's got a quick disconnect. So you plug it back in and you're good to go. Nice. Right? Do they offer integrated timers and stuff or is that something? So, that so, so they're European, so they don't use timers, they use photocells. So when the sun comes down, it'll automatically turn on and then it'll stay on for a certain amount of hours. They'll have like one to 12, so you yep. can pick four, for instance. So when the sun comes down, it'll stay on for four hours and then turn off. Nice. Right, because the problem with timers, you know, daylight savings, it turns on at four or five, it doesn't get dark till eight. Yes. Right? So that's why the photocell is nice. It always activates after the sun's down. Okay. Right? Is this stuff safe to keep outside all year round yeah, in terms 100%. of like the winter and everything? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Right? Remember, in Canada, the season's so short, so you want to try to elongate, right? So you want to use these all year round, right? Yeah. Because even, even if it's minus 20 in February and we don't have no snow, you still get the benefits of the lights, right? And nice. from a safety perspective, 
people are less likely to break in when the, when the house is lit. Yes. Right, versus a dark house. For sure. Right? So yes, all year round, you don't need to bring them in. They're waterproof. They can handle minus 30, plus 30. Okay. They're good to go. Awesome. Okay, one more room I wanna show you. This is one of our final rooms. It's the Ovid Experience Center. So pr pretty much what we're showing here is color, okay? Because people talk about lighting, and we no longer care about lighting. Even though we're a lighting company, we care about color. Because that's what it's all about today. Health, color, it goes hand in hand. So a key difference right now, just to show you, 90 CRI. So I showed you the 95 and the 80 CRI. Yes. So this is just to show you a basic of the difference. When you go 95, it's already a step above. So just to show you a 90 CRI versus an 80 CRI, you can see the color difference. Definitely. So imagine when you go to a 95 now, right? It's just, there's so many more health benefits. So pot lights and more specifically, healthy lighting is yes. a big topic. And I think that the majority of people are misinformed, myself included. And you definitely schooled me when it comes to healthy lighting. Well, the problem with today's society, everybody's so focused on price point, right? So they think because they're buying cheaper, they're getting a better product. Well, no, you're, you're buying cheaper by getting less of a product and you're getting a product that pretty much is someone else's garbage that you're trying to get rid of, that you're buying, right? That's all it is, right? So, and there's nothing new in terms of price points. These are about 50 bucks. These you could buy from anywhere from nine to 20 bucks. Okay. Right? But pot lights have always been 50 bucks. If you go back 20 years ago, Ford Explorer, let's just say, yep. so let's just say 50,000, say that Ford Explorer is 70,000. A pot light today was, or back then was like a contrast brand. Contrast one of, used to be one of the most reputable brands, right? And that was 50 bucks. This pot light is 50 bucks. So lighting hasn't changed in terms of price point. It's still 50 bucks, right? Unfortunately, you have a lot of stuff that's in, in, coming into the market, right? That's pretty much garbage. Yes. And that's what everybody compares it to today, right? So, so these now, are known as slims. Yeah, so, so, so these are slims. So, so what I'm trying to say is now you're getting the best, uh, um, best bang for your buck. You're getting 1,000 lumens, 95 CRI, warmed in for the same price as 20 years ago, right? And 20 years ago, you're only getting a halogen bulb. Okay, can not, you, sorry, can you break that down in English? CRI. Yeah, so, so, so CRI basically, so, so basically, CRI is basically, um, we, we, uh, we, look at, we look to the sun for CRI, right? So the sun is 100 CRI. So it's basically, you wanna mimic something near the sun, right? Because that's what we, we base it off, right? So okay. these are 95 CRI, right? So the higher the CRI, basically the more natural the, the, the light and the color. And there's right? more reds in that. Yeah, so pretty much just like the sun, it's high in reds, okay. right? So these are 95 CRI. So basically what they do, they infuse it with red. Okay. Standard LEDs are 80 CRI. There's no red whatsoever because red costs money to make, right? They got to infuse it. And literally these chips that come from China, that's all they are. They're, they're literally off the assembly line and they, they package it and sell it off. There's no infusing with red. There's no optics. There's nothing to it, right? So pretty much it's straight from the factory. And okay. that's what you're buying. You're buying pretty much uh, a piece of tape light, yep. right? some type of lens to filter it. Yeah. And then pretty much they put all that together and that's and that's what a slim is today, right? It's, okay. Okay, it's an economy light that it's, it's um, there's no color, there's no optics, there's really nothing to it, right? And a, lo a lot of guys like it because it's slim, right? So if you have a joist, they don't have to worry. Yes, Okay. it is very handy for situations like that. Which is like great that. for the installer, right? Yes. But for the homeowner, they're getting short, they're getting the short end of the stick because they're getting a product that's well, it's it's a piece of junk. Yeah. It's called space space, right? Yeah. Um, this is this is lighting. Okay. So this so could lighting is be... about yeah. Sorry, I just want to say lighting is about no um, no glare. Okay. So so when it's recessed here, the chip stay, stays back there. There's less glare in the eyes. So if people suffer from migraines or headaches, you're not getting that light reflecting your eyes. Where so you're getting like a 36 degree beam. Okay. Where this you're getting a 180 degree beam. So pretty much shining sideways. So when you look at it, you're getting the light directly in your eye. Okay. Go on. Um, so these are just line voltage, right? 120 Yeah, they're line voltage. AC. You got the big heat sink because these are pushing a thousand lumens. So okay. it's, it's like a 50 watt equivalent, right? I mentioned optics. Yep. So when you get a light like this, you can pick between 30 degree and 60 degree optics. So okay. if you want a wide beam or a narrow beam, right? Um, and you're getting warmed in. So pretty much just like the sun, you know, during the, in the morning, it's, it's um, like a warm color. Yep. During the day, it goes whiter. And then at night, it goes warmer again. Same thing with this. And that is one of my favorite features, like especially at night when I'm doing bedtime stories with the yep. kids. You want to relax. Exactly. Yeah. And I have customers that say all the time with this type of stuff, with the warm dim, yeah. the kids actually sleep better. For sure. Okay. I know there's going to be studies. They're going to need 20 years, but people are using it now and they're saying it works, right? In terms of just relaxing, right? So pretty much you're, you're mimicking the outdoor. You're, as, as, uh, the night goes, um, as the night goes on, right? You dim it down. Yeah. It gets warmer. So you're basically mimicking what's outside, especially as Canadians you spend so much time inside. Exactly. Right? So you want to mimic that outside as much as possible. So when you buy, you have to decide, you know, A, what, you know, is it a house or an office? If it's an office, theoretically, I would use the 4000K series. Okay. Right. And that, if they dim it, they put on a dimmer, it'll go down to 3000K. So it's kind of like human centric lighting, a uh, human centric lighting, but an economy version of it, right? So you dim it, it relaxes, you bring it up, productivity. 
Okay. Now for a house, I still like 3000 K because it's more warmer, right? And the more warmer the color has the less, pretty much it has more reds. Yep. And more reds have less potential to suppress your melatonin levels, which is the hormone that regulates your sleep. Yes. Right? So if you want to be more relaxed at home, you have sleeping problems, you want to go warm as possible. More reds, less blue. Yes. Okay? So 3000 K and it'll go down to 1800. When you dim it down, it relaxes, right? And your body now knows, hey, I'm getting ready for bed, right? Because okay. a lot of people have that blue light or the ADCRI. 4,000 K, you know, those type of things. Yeah. And the problem with that, when you go to bed, your body now is confused. It's like, well, is it nighttime? Am I, re am I supposed to relax now? Cause you went from a high, a high stressful type of light, all of a sudden now you're trying to sleep. And that's why a lot of people have sleeping issues today, right? Okay. It's all to do with the color, right? A lot of it's artificial today. And that's okay. the ADCRI is artificial. 90 and higher is more of that natural color. If you're looking for whatever brand, Ovid or whoever brand you're buying out there, yep. 90 plus CRI is minimum what you want. The second standard is you want warm dimming. Okay. Right? So when you look when you look at 3000 K, it has to go down to 1800 or something. Okay. Right? Or a 4000, which is your whiter, because some people like the more of that modern look. But still, as long as you have that warm dim, that's how you know you get that relaxation in it. Okay. okay? So it'll go down to 3K. All right. Awesome. So we're in the warehouse of Von Alec & Co. And we're going to be talking about Eaton's newest panel. So they're Eaton, Eaton distributor. Yeah, as you can see from the large selection we have, it's all Eaton. Yes. Uh, this is their new panel, the plug-on neutrals. Uh, it's a 60 circuit because with, you know, more demand, EV cars and every, you know, the, the more circuits people need today. So they came out with the 60 circuit panel. Okay. This is the old 30 circuit panel. Okay, so you get 60. If you use the minis, you get up to 120 circuits now. Okay. So that's the new design. That's the new arc vaults, plug-on neutral. Right, the tail's gone now. Yep. Simply plugs right in. And another key thing I want to show you as well, as you plug that in, yeah, is surge protection. Okay. Okay. It's one of the most underrated. I know Mike Holmes has been pushing this for years, but yes. it's still, it's not, it's still. I'm, many people still don't, don't use them in panels today. Um, so everything today is electronics, LEDs, tablets, computers, phones, EV car charge. Everything's electronics. So surge protectors, that's what they're for. They're for electronics, right? And they protect. And people think surge protectors is only for lightning storms. And yes, in a way, they are for lightning storms, but at the same time, you have surges in your house all the time. When your AC kicks on, there's a transient surge that goes through the house. Yes. Right? So, and it can affect your, um, your, your lights, it can affect appliances, but surges protect your house. You okay. Know? It's just like, you know, you buy a nice car, you put insurance. This is your insurance on the panel. Okay. Okay? So it's very crucial to have. And like I said, especially today, since everything's electronic. So this it protects, is gonna, it protects your electronics. This will provide surge protection for the whole home. Exactly. You put this breaker in. There's different versions. Uh, this is the plug-on one from Eaton. And then obviously, if you want larger surge protection, you could get the ones that fit, uh, fit beside the panel. Um, but yeah, they provide, they provide protection to the whole panel. Okay. Now, if, now, there's some people out there that have multiple panels in their house. So if you put a surge protector in your panel, it'll protect up to 100 feet. Okay, meaning, let's say you have a panel, your main panel is here, then you got another panel that's within 100 feet, you only need the one surge protector, it'll, it'll protect both panels. Okay. If you have another panel in the house that's more than 100 feet, you got to add... Or say add, a sub-panel exactly, in the garage. Exactly, sub you got to add another surge if it's further than 100 feet from the main panel. Okay. okay. Just a little fun fact. Okay. All right, thanks a lot, Mike, for having us and giving everyone a tour of your showroom. My pleasure. Every time I'm with you, I learn something new. And, and I try to sell you some stuff. I always end up spending more money. Yes, thanks but again. it's quality stuff. Yes, thank you. All right, thanks. Take it easy. Take care.